Hey everyone, I'm Kaya with exercisesforinjuries.com. Welcome to today's video. We are going to go through six ways to use a foam roller that you may never have considered. So uh, most of us use foam rollers to roll out our muscles. That's kind of the traditional use, but we're gonna go through six interesting ways you can incorporate a foam roller into some different exercises and stretches. So the first one is to isolate the scapula. So stretching out the back in a way that we normally don't, I'm gonna take the foam roller here uh, parallel with the long edge of my mat and I'm going to place my spine along it so I'm rolling or I'm kind of opening up over top of it with, so depending on the length of your foam roller, it might go under your tailbone or not. And then I'm going to bring one arm overhead as far as I can back down and the other way. So a nice way to uh, work on your shoulder mobility and uh, get some massage into those muscles around the scapula, the shoulder blades. All right, the next one is a bench press. So we're gonna stay in the same position we're in here, um, mo ideally moving it up onto the tailbone. So if you have some, some uh, longer one, that will be nicer for the head, or you can place pillows underneath the head. So from this position, we're going to press up and come down to that 90, doing our bench press from this position. Maybe getting a nice little stretch or roll into the shoulder blades like well. All right, coming up from there, moving into um, a push-up variation here. I'm going to bring a foam roller under my hands so this is gonna make the push-up a little bit more challenging. It's gonna add um, some instability. And in my case, with a shorter foam roller, you're gonna to have to do more of a tricep push-up. So from here, your plank, high plank position, lowering down and pressing back up. So we're just bringing that, um, the floor a little bit higher up here, making it a little bit more challenging, as well as adding that instability into the push-up. All right, next is a side roll push-up. So I'm gonna bring my foam roller to the side, right hand plants, and then my um, left hand is balanced on the side of the foam roller. I'm gonna come from my knees, and as I lower down with my right hand, the foam roller is just going to roll from my palm down to below my wrist. So I'm working on a one arm push-up here. And then I would switch, bring that roller underneath the right hand, and work on that one arm push up on the left side. And I'm also getting a nice roll on the forearm on the right side. All right, next is our push up helper. So if you're working on strengthening into a full push up, we're gonna bring the roller here just below the knees, come forward into the push up and lower down and back up. So over time, as you get stronger here, you might Bring it more towards the mid shin area. And then out to the ankles. And then eventually you'll be ready for a full push up. All right, this last one is gonna be a plank variation. I'm bringing the foam roller just above my knees here onto the bottom of my quads on this uh, forearm plank position. And from here, I'm gonna roll back up to towards my hips and forward. So I'm working on this core exercise in my plank, keeping my tailbone tucked under, but you kind of get the added benefit of rolling out the quads as well. All right. So those are six ways to use your foam roller you might not have thought of before. So I hope you give those a go, have some fun. Don't worry if you're a little bit awkward like I was in some of them. Um, just have some fun and switch up your workout. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you in another video. Take care, bye.